Welcome to what's left of Centralia, Pennsylvania. It's pretty hot. And uh, at depth, probably down at the level of the coal seam, uh, you might see temperatures on the order of uh, 1,100, 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit, where there's active burning in the coal seam. Steve Jones is a geologist with the state government. The water spraying trick is what he uses to dramatize how hot the ground is here, evidence of an underground inferno that's been burning for 40 years. That's pretty hot. Not a very pretty picture. Most of the, most of the surface expression of the fire uh, within the four, currently the 450 acres that's burnt or burning looks an awful lot like this. Not a pretty sight. That's a civil servant's gift for understatement. Up top, there is a denuded landscape. Underneath, fires smolder and rage in a coal mine complex that covers 12 square kilometers. In the beginning, there was coal. Enough coal and oil to make Pennsylvania a kind of 19th century version of Saudi Arabia rich veins that run kilometers deep in the rock or just erupt in black mountains dotting the countryside. In 1962, Centralia was a prosperous mining town of 1100, smack dab on top of seams of the richest coal of all, anthracite. Now it's practically a ghost town, just 11 people live here. But once there was a school, four movie theaters, seven bars, and a gas station. This was a blue-collar community, the kind that puts down long roots. In the cemetery, there are freshly tended graves. In the spring of 62, town workers were burning a little excess garbage in a landfill behind the cemetery, as they often did during spring cleanup. Unbeknownst to them, they picked a spot where coal was right near the surface, and it ignited.